Well, hello, folks. I hope you're well. And I'm making this important video today because I've felt convicted to do so. And I felt it's the right thing um, to speak about this, this topic. And since, you know, as I said, that there's been a, about three or four videos in recent times, some of them re-uploads anyway, but I've, I've removed a few of those videos because I have had this conviction in the last couple of weeks. Well, it's been building up really in the last few weeks and it culminated a couple of days ago when uh, I came across this article, which I'll uh, link in the description, this article. It's a very thorough biblical article on staying within the parameters of God and his word and what types of methods are kosher and, and what are not. And this really has struck me with the conviction that I've been receiving in the last few weeks. So I just uh, I want to explain where I'm at, just let you know, really. I'm going to read this verse just to start with in 2 Corinthians chapter 10. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into ca captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So pulling down strongholds and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Now, as you know, this work online here has been going for now nine years on Rise and RSE. I'm pleased. I'm so pleased to see how it's helped. So many people have said they've been helped by it to see the lies in this world and the deception of false religion, um, of new age, false spirituality, and leading to the gospel of Christ. And, and that's what has been the goal of it. And that's where my zeal has been personally. And some of you will agree with what I'm going to say now, and some of you won't. But that's fine. I've got, got to share where I'm at and be honest with you, because I feel a responsibility evangelizing. I'm an evangelist. I'm not a prophet. I'm not a pastor. I'm not any of those things, uh, obviously. I'm just a, a guy that is working in this field of trying to outreach to people in the new age, in the truth movement, in all sorts of deceptions. And, and like those verses said in the book of Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. And that's really the main goal in doing this to to cast down false philosophies, to wrestle with false spirituality, to show people that the Bible is the truth and bring those thoughts into captivity to the obedience of Christ. And that really is a, is a form of spiritual warfare in that sense, of wrestling with doctrine, of uh, ap apologetics, not in the sense of these long drawn out debates, I don't, I'm not interested too much in those. I know they can help some people, but just really that that small amount of apologetics of of uh, wrestling with the false philosophies and then sharing the gospel, the the answer, the real way out, the real truth of Jesus Christ, and that's been the goal. But I I feel of great responsibility to people, uh, you know, there's a, there's a wide range of people who watch these videos and that's always difficult because you've got some people who are still lost, you've got some people who are, have just come to faith in Jesus, you've got other people that are more mature Christians. And so for me, I feel that responsibility greatly that I don't want to mislead anyone into any form of bondage or distract them from the Bible. So it's been difficult. And I know that there are some people that will say, well, exposing the TV commercials, for example, and the propaganda that's in them, that that led me to seeing the truth, that Jesus is the truth and the Bible is the truth. And I definitely don't want to discount that. And that's absolutely valid. You know, if you, if you 
were led to the Lord, praise God. And I just praise him that people have found the truth. But but I have to take responsibility for that method. And I don't want, for one, I don't want young believers, and just hear me out here, they may get a wrong impression, for example, of thinking that they need to look at that propaganda, at that deception, at the Luciferian propaganda, and look at that to find out what is to come. When really the Bible, as we know, the Bible is the only source of truth. The Bible is the only ordained means by which God has chosen to reveal his revelation, his truth, within the boundaries, the safety of his word. And so I, for one, that is part of my conviction here. You know, showing some of the enemy's theology, essentially, in some of the commercials that have been on TV and things. You've got to be ever so careful, because there's a, there's a line here for me which I do not want to cross, in that you don't want to be teaching the enemy's theology that goes beyond what is written. And Paul... The Apostle Paul, remember, he says, I think it's in Corinthians, he says, do not go beyond what is written. And why? Why does he give that? Why does he say that? He says, because it will lead to basically one person being puffed up against another, where people end up going into factions because you get these deliverance ministers, these so-called gurus and prophets in the NAR and things like that, that people flock to a certain leader and say, well, I'm of... Apollos, I'm of Paul, I'm of this, I'm of that. And they end up following a person because they're relying on them to reveal certain things to them which they don't believe they can get from the Word of God. Now, there's nothing wrong with teachers, there's nothing wrong with discernment, there's nothing wrong with exposure as long as it's done purely within the confines of God's Word in which His Word, Scripture, is our only authority and that we are all beholden to the Bible not to any kind of extra uh, biblical thing where where people claim to have special secret insight that the rest of the body Christ do not have. For me, doing this, that was not my intention. My intention has always been just to really show in these last few years, to show and warn of the deception that's in this world and of the propaganda, and to really show that atheists, people like that, that the Bible is real, it's historical, um, you know, and, and we're living in these times of Bible prophecy of the last of the last days and, and all of that. So that's been my intention, but I do not want to risk misleading anyone to value the Luciferian propaganda as having some kind of extra insight. And that was something I was thinking about today. I just want to be careful. I don't want to lead anyone into it because that's bondage. You know, that's bondage to their propaganda and and that's something I need to be careful of. But as I say, there are some people who will disagree with with this stance because they will say, well, you know, it helped me to see the truth. And as I say, that doesn't invalidate that you came to the truth and that God reached you. But it doesn't mean to say that I should use any method uh, that may not be ordained by God, and which is something I will have to answer to all these souls, these precious souls that are so precious to the Lord, I don't want to risk taking them on any rabbit hole in any direction that is not healthy or conduitive for them in their spiritual walk. Young believers, these babes in Christ, they are very precious to the Lord. And so I need to be very objective about that. To me, there is a fine line. I think it's, as I said, I think it's good to expose as long as it's exposing with the Bible um, in light of God's word and the truth uh, that it's for a purpose and a reason to lead to the gospel, I think it's fine. I was reading earlier in Romans chapter 12, it says, be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. As long as it's not just (laughs) relishing and being stuck in, in just looking at evil all the time, which is what some of these truther channels have been like. We are to overcome evil with good. The only reason I can see to expose things is that we we do them 
with the goal of sharing the gospel. There's no point going down these paths. And I see some Christians, sadly, and this is not something I do. I, I don't sit there and look at symbolism and the, this propaganda. Very, very rarely when I've come to do a video in recent times have I actually looked at that. But I, do, I don't spend my days doing that. And I, I do see some people, some Christians online, who all they want to talk about is the devil. And, and that's troubling to me because the idea of, of that is, is only that people would first see that there is a, an enemy of their soul and that they need salvation. But if, if our focus, honestly, if we honestly look at it and our focus is on the enemy most of the time, then we're going to be led into despair, we're going to be led into bondage, and we're not told to do that. We're told to be aware of his schemes. We're told to be as wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. But we're not told to relish in the things of evil. So if that's our primary focus, I think that's, that's a challenge for us. Is Really what we're told to do as believers is to focus on the Lord and to grow in him. You know, to be aware of deception, not relish it in it and essentially partake in, in it eventually. You know, the more you you uh, look into the darkness, the more it can begin to affect your mind. And we're told to renew our mind and, uh, if possible, join a community of believers. Um, you know, I think for those of us who are already Christians, really this should be our focus, is, is growing in the Lord, uh, trying to find some kind of fellowship, at least online, but ideally in person. You know, to grow in the things of God, to serve his kingdom, to fulfill the Great Commission. So I know the, that we are living in difficult times and there's a lot of apostate churches and things as well and a lot of people are hurt by churches. So I understand that that sometimes brings a, a trigger in people to talk about. But Paul does say that, to not neglect meeting together. And um, the, the, our goal is to make disciples. It's to share the gospel. And that is my goal here. So I do apologise for, for having to say this. Well, I apologise for this because I feel that these... I've deleted about two or three videos off this RSC channel, this side channel, uh, which were re-uploads, which are, are videos that I'd been um, I'd taken down before for the same reason. And then I deleted the, um, the Glenfiddich video that I recently put up on the Rise channel. And that's for the, these reasons, is that I believe that, you know, looking into the artificial insemination in that commercial and the, the beast coming from that, that is a doctrine of demons. That is their theology. I definitely see that that's what they were pushing in it. But it doesn't mean to say it's good to, to share with thousands and thousands of people. The Bible doesn't say that specifically. So you see how this can easily become going beyond what is written. Before you realise it, even subconsciously, you, do, you don't necessarily mean to do that. And I, I wasn't meaning to do that. And I share these things with others. I try and take accountability with others. So it's not like I just do it on a whim. But I have felt convicted about this. And the other Christians that I, I seek counsel from have agreed that it's it's good for me to go on my convictions here. It, the Bible doesn't say that specifically about the artificial insemination. It doesn't necessarily say every single aspect of that. And I'm just a very aware that that is a theology. That is their theology. And we shouldn't go beyond what is written because we can so end up out on the left field and entertaining ideas that are not from God and um, going beyond what is safe in our doctrine, uh, which should only come from the Bible. You see, the Bible is our authority. Yeah, so I want to be very, very careful about that. So I'm going to re rein that back in and stay, you know, not go beyond any kind of line that is forbidden. Because you have to remember that the divinators in the Bible and those who interpret omens and um, divination and all of those kinds of practices. And I was reading this article on this, quite a thorough one, which I shall leave as a link in the description. So anyone that 
would feel that's beneficial, that might want to learn what to be careful about. I will leave that in the description. Um, but, you know, seeking, seeking secret knowledge in order to predict the future. And that, that line can so easily be crossed when you're looking at the enemy's propaganda, maybe propaganda about what's to come or the future, and anything that goes beyond what is written in God's word, it goes outside of those parameters. We have to be ever so careful and wary of, or anything like that. And I do not want to encourage that. So that's where I'm coming from. And as I say, it's a fine line. I, I still believe, after praying and biblically, I think it's fine to expose any you know, exhortations to wrestle with false philosophies, to cast down arguments that are against God, to do all these things and to expose false religion and the agenda and the social situation, prophecy and how it relates to our current times. All these things are fine. It's a hard battle for me. It's a hard line to tread. It's a hard field to outreach into, which is the ultimate goal. So it's not very easy at times to know you know where to tread for myself and what god is god wants me to do in certain ways and i need to keep praying more about that and i appreciate your prayers so i, I do plan to continue um doing videos um but please keep me in prayer because this is really is a spiritual battle what is meant for good what is ze zeal towards the lord can so easily be hijacked because we have an enemy. Remember, messages and videos and outreaches that are going to going out to thousands of people, there's a danger that he might try to steal, kill and destroy. We're all only human. I'm just a human who sees my role as evangelism and apologetics and things in, in this field of false philosophy and truth movement. I can easily be misled, even if my intentions are good, the enemy can come in and hijack any one of us. Even pastors, you know, have to be careful. Because remember, we have an enemy of our souls who wants to just subtly deceive us or draw us in the wrong direction. And to hijack a message that, that is useful to the hearers, that, that shares the good news of Jesus, but to put in that little bit of sway into the mix that ends up damaging it. I know that in 2014, I'm sure some of you have, you know, listened to these videos for nine years. When I first started, I had a lot of zeal because I came back to my faith and I just wanted desperately to outreach to those lost in New Ageism and the occult and witchcraft and Gnosticism. And in that zeal, because I was only just coming back to the Lord, I should have waited a couple of years uh, before I started the videos at that time because I was swayed towards Gnostic views in trying to expose the Gnostic views. So this stuff is so subtle. There's a reason that the occult is dangerous. And um, so that's something, that a lesson I learned, and I had to publicly repent back then. Then the videos went more to um, travelling around the world, showing the archaeology showing the signs of the times across the world and exposing false religion. And there was a little bit of the breakdowns of commercials here and there. And I do, I do remember about a year ago, all of those I did take down. And then for some reason in, in the last month, you know, there were people who were saying, well, this is your calling, you know, you need to do this. You need to, you need to expose these commercials. You need to show the propaganda and, I thought, well, you know what, if it's leading people to the cross, then that's fine. Then maybe I should allow for some of it. But as I say, I've just had promptings over the last few weeks. One was the verse that says about, I can't remember exactly, but it, it says about how wisdom that is from above is first pure, first lovely, peaceable. Though, If you look that verse up, I'm sure some of you know it. And it talks about like an earthly wisdom that, is not from God and can be devilish. And so those promptings and also some people on the comments said, are you sure this is a good thing to be doing? And I've just had many different promptings and um, I'm pleased about that. 
I'm pleased that the Lord has has nudged me on that. I'm pr- I'm pleased for the conviction, and I can only listen to the conviction. So I do believe there are many ways to show the gospel, and there are many ways to outreach to this generation and in this mission field. But I don't agree to do anything that I believe is is beyond the parameters of what God has ordained in His Word, and I. I am convicted that that particular method, remember there's no neutral method, it either is from God or it isn't. And even if it drives some people to the faith, I don't want to answer for doing something that is condemned or, or is wrong. So I just want to be aware of that and to um, obey God in this. And I will be avoiding uh, exposing some of those enemies theology in commercial in commercials and the predictions the enemy is is pushing the propaganda i'm going to stick to the bible and anything that i expose will be for the purpose of coming under the authority of the biblical truth so that that's where i'm at and i appreciate that some people do want me to do that but you know i hope you respect at least that that's my conviction and i feel responsibility for all the people watching not to do anything that is displeasing to God. So I would say again, be very careful of that stuff. I w- I wouldn't spend your time looking at at that. I would spend your time focusing on learning about Jesus, especially if you're a new believer. The risen channel is the channel which I'm hope hoping people will go to, and that is a place where we just talk about the faith and the times that we live in, staying strong in the Lord. Uh, videos focused on Jesus, which is my ultimate intention. So I've never advertised Risen on these channels before, but if you would like to, the link is below to subscribe there. My repentance here is to apologise for do, for doing anything that may have been beyond the remit of what we should be doing. You know, I hope people receive that apology, and as part of that repentance, of course, I have taken down about three or four re-uploads on the RSC channel and the recent one on the Rise channel of the uh, Glenfiddich commercial. So that's the end of that, and I won't be going down that line again. There are plenty of other ways to draw attention to the gospel and to discern the times we're living in. I just pray you won't get caught up in that and that your relationship with God goes well. Obviously, it's ideal for us to focus. Like if you if you want to listen to a preacher, Charles Lawson, Pastor Charles Lawson, Chuck Missler, and um, other people out there that are solid uh, preachers, I would really spend time, Spurgeon as well, I would really spend time just getting into the meat of the faith and the mysteries of the gospel, you know, learning more of Christ and, and going from milk to meat in God's word. That's what really matters here, discipleship, because we're going to spend an eternity with him. You know, prophecy shall pass, Paul says. Faith, hope and love, these things remain, and the greatest of these is love. So growing in these things, growing in the things of God, is is what's important. The things going on in this world are only temporary. So we ought to be getting to know our Lord and Saviour more and more and growing in him. You know, there is a place to show what's going on. There's still people lost out there. The Rise Channel is not primarily for Christians. The Rise Channel is for unbelievers and those lost to try and plant those seeds and and wrestle with those false philosophies. So the Risen Channel that I set up is is the one that where we're talking about the faith more and, and the Bible, you know. So anyway, I just... Thank you for listening, and I hope you receive this well. And this has not been enjoyable to do, but it's something that's been necessary. So I I thank you for listening, and God bless.